don't you know you can't escape me? Ooh, darling, cause you'll always be my baby. Did you see what I did there? Let's get into the review. Kristen, and today we are talking about Netflix's new movie, Always Be My Maybe. Directed by Nanachka Khan and written by Ali Wong, Randall Park, and Michael Golomko, Always Be My Maybe stars Ali Wong and Randall Park as childhood best friends who have a falling out. Sixteen years later, they reunite as adults, and even though they live very different lifestyles, there's still that spark between them. Now, this is a film that I'd heard whispers about last year around the time when Crazy Rich Asians and To All the Boys I Loved Before came out, and I've been really anticipating it ever since. But does it live up to the hype? We're about to get into it, but first consider subscribing if you like my videos and drop down in the comments so we can talk about Always Be My Maybe together. I can't wait to hear what you guys think about it. I have to say there are so many things that I enjoyed about this film and I think first and foremost the most obvious thing is the incredible chemistry between Ali Wong and Randall Park. You really believe their characters Sasha and Marcus as love interests and as childhood best friends. They had this goofy fun humor where you could just tell that they could really be their true selves with each other. <laughs> So cute. We got great performances from our supporting actors as well, and man, Ali Wong really set herself up with some impressive love interests in this movie. There's Daniel Day Kim, Keanu Reeves, Randall Park, I mean, pretty top-notch list. I really enjoyed seeing how different these guys were and the different things that they brought to the table in a relationship with Sasha. And I also just really love the fact that all three men were really handsome Asian men, which is really refreshing to see. You know, just in general, there are not as many Asian American led romantic comedies, and so to see this surge of films like this, like Crazy Rich Asians, All the Boys I've Loved Before, Plus One, projects made by and led by Asian American creatives, it just makes me really happy. I I also really like the themes that this film tackles. You know, you're following these two people who grow up to have such different lifestyles. Sasha is this world renowned celebrity chef. She's eating at expensive places, dating celebrities and millionaires. While Marcus is living at home with his dad, he's afraid to take a leap. And I think when these two reunite, we see them invoke these positive changes within each other. Sasha realizing that she does miss that authenticity of cooking for people so that they feel at home. And Marcus opening his eyes to the fact that he needs to take a chance on his dreams. And what I do really love about this film is that. There's never a time when the two are jealous of each other and their own successes. They both want to support each other. It's more of them feeling a little bit uncomfortable or not themselves in this other person's lifestyle. The other message that I feel really resonated throughout this film is family. We see Sasha who has never had a strong relationship with her parents because they work so much, so she spends a lot of time with Marcus and his mom. Cooking authentic Korean food with Marcus's mom is really what made her feel at home and inspired to pursue a culinary career. And we get to see this beautiful tribute to her and how she influenced both of their lives at the end of the film. And honestly, as funny as this film is, that moment and the one where Marcus takes a leap with Sasha really just got me in my feels. I was bawling. And I feel like I haven't had a good cry in a movie like that in a long time. It was pretty cathartic. It felt really full circle in a way and I think that they did a really great job of setting up this film where the same types of things happened when they were younger as when they were older and it just really felt very impactful. I also want to shout out the soundtrack to this film which was awesome and I loved the original songs Randall Park recorded for his band Hello Peril in the film. They were hilarious but like so good. My only slight issue with this film was that when we got towards the middle I felt like it was dragging a little bit. It was mostly around the Keanu Reeves section which I think he did a really great job but it was just around then when I started being like yo this movie is feeling a bit long. When it comes down to it I really had a lot of fun watching Always Be My Maybe. I think this is the kind of film that really shines because of its leading actor and just their chemistry and how funny they are and just how well they work together and bring that you know friendship to love story forward. It's a film that will make you laugh, cry, and I think it has a relatability that anyone can connect with. If you like this video, you may enjoy some of my rom-com videos over here. I definitely suggest checking them out. There's some really great ones including some more Asian American led rom-coms that you definitely need to check out. And don't forget to drop down in the comments and let me know your thoughts. What'd you think about Always Be My Maybe? Can't wait to hear what you guys think. See ya!